So let me talk to you guys about the inform list. This is where we do all of our non-motion commands. If you look down here, you'll see a button that says inform list. And if I press it, it's not gonna, it, it, this, whole, this whole bunch of menus just kind of appear out of nowhere. This is where we do all of our non-motion commands. So in and out would be um, digital inputs and outputs. So if I want to turn on a digital output, I use a doubt command. If I want to wait, if I want to do something with a digital input, I use a dint. If I want to wait for an imp input, I can do that. I can pulse an output, and these are this is analog, right? Analog output right here. Control is where we do some more fun stuff. So jump, jump. You can jump job or jump label. You can call different programs. You can set up a timer, like a, kind of a wait. You can you know, this label, label label goes with a call uh, jump here. You can put comments. You can put your return. You can put a pause. Those are the big ones. All right. So uh, pause would be, you know, it would actually create a hold. So if you, this, when you press this button here, it will create a pause in the program. Device, you know, if welding, these are, we this is some, some welding options. So tool on, weave on, but motion as well. See if I have move, here's move J's and move L's and all this other stuff. If I want to move to a, a stored position register, this is how I would you do so. Arithmetic, here's your math. If I want to clear out information, I use that. This is an incrementer, so add one, a decrementer, so decline by one, set a value, add, subtract, multiply, divide, you know, basically anything that you want to do. Um, those are the big ones. You can see sine and cosine in there. There's some other advanced setups. I'm not going to get too far in the weeds here because um, this is more advanced programming stuff. But I want to show you the arithmetic. If I want to shift the job in some way, that's how I shift it. Um, and you know, shock. Um, if you want to change the shock settings, that's what that would be. And everything so far so good. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And I want to show. If I'm gonna add. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click on. I'm gonna turn off the inform list. And I'm gonna show you how to put in a, put in a job, a call job. So first, I'm gonna go in here and say I'm gonna create a new job. And this one's called demo. So I'm gonna cr create a new. Oh, Create a new job, so job, create new, and I'm going to call this call. Hit enter, I'm going to hit execute, and now what I can do is if I go to my, hit my inform list, so hit my inform list button, you can see it comes up. If I go to control, I can hit call, and look, it says call job. If I select here, I can, all my jobs will come up, so I'm going to hit demo. And you can see I can call job demo. If I enter, now when I you run this job, it will call that job demo. So I'm going to turn off my inform list and now watch. If I hit interlock test start, it called the demo job. See that? So now if I want to go back to the job, I hit job, you know, select job, and I can go back to my main job. If I'm in the job and I want to see what that job is, if I click on the direct open button right here, it will go to that job. And if I go back, it will go back that way, okay? So as I move forward though, other things I can do on the inform list. Control, I can do a jump. So if I want to repeat a job, a, 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 an act, some actions a certain amount of times, I could use a jump label. So, if, so let me cancel this out, and let me go back to my main job. I'm going to direct open, and I'm just going to put in a, go to inform list, and I'm going to go to control, and I'm going to put in a jump. Jump, insert here, and then I'm going to put a label above it. So I'm going to go right here, I'm going to go to control, and I'm gonna put the label. And you can call the label something else by hit insert, enter. And so now I have a label around this position. So when I hit interlock test start, see what, lock, what look what happens. It's still running, but what it's doing is keeps jumping from the label back to the label and it's only running that position. So it's a, you know, if we had a large job, we could have it repeat certain steps in a row. So if I wanted to do two motions, just to show you, I'm gonna insert a motion. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna add a motion. 
So now I have two motions. So now just to show you, if I hit interlock test start, look at the job. It's just gonna keep repeating that by jumping the label. Now, if I wanted to, instead of jumping, I can actually jump to jobs as well. So let me go back, cancel, cancel. So let me select that. And if I hit edit, see as a jump, it says jump to, I can also jump to jobs. So I can jump to another job, so if I get in trouble, I can go, like, just go jump job. A um, couple other things. Let's talk about uh, um, math instructions. But first, let me talk about variables right here. Look at the variables. There's bytes, integers, double integers, or double precision, and reals. A byte, this will only store numbers from basically 0 to 255, no negative numbers. This will store from like negative 2300 up to positive 2300. Don't quote me in the exact. A double will go like really, really big and really, really small. These two are the only ones that will control negative numbers. This will do decimals. So think about, um, you know, so, uh, so decimals and really, really, really big numbers, like microns. All right? But I can use these, and if I go into bytes, you see everything is BOO, BOO. I can and how, see how there are eight bits here. I can go into my job and say I can go into here, and I'm gonna go into my form list, and I'm gonna do arithmetic, and I'm gonna do increment. And see how it says increment pool? It's gonna allow you to increment that that what by one, whatever that value in there. So I'm gonna go hit in a, insert enter. And so now it's there. And so I'm gonna run this job a little bit. So I'm gonna go to here, interlock test start. And you can see the job moves. And if I go into variable byte, you can see that that number is four now. Because what I just did is increase by one. And then maybe if, let me go to job, job. Just did it two more times, go to bool byte, and now it's six. Say I wanted to clear that, I'm gonna go up to the top here before the label, and I'm gonna hit inform list, and I'm gonna do arithmetic. I can do clear, and I can clear bool. Now this number here will give me a value of how many other values over it I can clear. So if I wanna clear bool one, bool two, bool three, bool whatever, I can do that. So I'm just gonna keep it like this and maybe put one in, oops. Let me do this again, inform list, arithmetic, clear, clear bool, insert, enter. And so now if I, you know, let me uh, cancel out. So now if I do this, hit interlock test start, I'm gonna go, it should read, uh, where is bool? I did zero, let me, I gotta fix something, sorry. Let me change that to one. Okay. So now, interlock test start. I'm gonna go back to uh, bool, byte, and you can see that's a one now, because I cleared one bool of that. So, if I want a decrement, I can do decrement, but watch this. If I go into here, it says I'm in a bool, and if I change, oh, if I go to a form list, sorry, I'm trying to do this really fast before another class. If I go to, to uh, arithmetic, I can also do clear, I can clear, I can also do set. So I can set bool to uh, like 10. I keep hitting something, sorry. Um, inform list set bool to 10 inner um, insert inner and so now so now if I run this I have it clearing the bool jumping labels and every time it jumps a label it's setting it back to a 10 so if I go into go into a variables byte you can see it's 10 because I'm adding one by keep setting over it that value. So these are fun things that we're gonna try. Now, one other thing, 
I can go into jump label. And if I select jump label, see how it says condition, unused? I can put an if in there. And I can say, hey, if bool is equal to 10, for instance, it will jump label. But if bool is like, or I can go oh, enter, or if I go here, if is not equal to 10, let's try that. Watch what happens. So right now I'm gonna just, uh, bool, that's equal to 10 here. If I do this job, notice if I go into my, my bit here, it's equal to 10. It, it didn't jump label because it was equal to 10. If I change this to the condition, if, come on, equal to 10, it's gonna jump the label now. So watch, if I go up here, run my interlock test start, see it's jump, it keeps jumping because it's equal to 10. So you can set the conditions of when to jump label, when not to jump label, when to jump job. So this is the stuff that we'll be playing with next week.